So we need to have a discussion, I think. There's been talks in the community at the moment that Bandai have kind of been letting Digimon go. Ever since the beginning of BT9, BT10, let's think about it. Bandai haven't really been looking into Digimon as much as they should. This can be proven by the fact that they've decided to start experimenting with the card game, that being all of the different foils and all of the different uncommon common foils that we've had in BT11 that have been scrapped in BT12. Not only that, but also all of the delays that we've had across BT12, the erratas that we've had in EX3, and just the generic community don't think that we are getting as much love as other card games like Battle Spirits, which has recently just been released, and I'm so, so excited to begin playing the game more. But let's just think about it. Let's let's look at this post that somebody has made in the Digimon Facebook. Now, I've, I've blurred out their names. I've, I've got rid of the name and everything. But if you're in that group, you know who it is. Basically, there we go. They wanted to propose a theory that Bandai were expecting the Digimon TCG to be completely dropped and completely replaced. Now, like I said in the little bit of an intro there that I had, I can kind of agree with this. I can kind of agree with the idea that Bandai kind of just wanted to cycle out the game and bring it in with a new one, again, like Battle Spirits. Even then, like you can see that it's happened with Dragon Ball as well, where they've only recently given a new feature to the card game that kind of brought it back, that made it more enjoyable. Well, some might say more enjoyable, but uh, it is what it is. But it's like, you can see that the big changes in the rulings, as they've said there, the, the ace cards, I can't really highlight, oh, can I highlight? This is a good question. Professionalism here, we're doing this live. Like the ace cards, here we go. It's Bandai doing that thing again where they're just adding in new features to the card game and trying to keep the game more enjoyable to others. Even newcomers like with the Ultimate Cup solo color decks, for example. I mean, I've played solo color decks anyway, so I wasn't that opposed, but all of my friends who played like Black War Grey, they couldn't run their cool boys. This side, they, they, they couldn't run the cool boys. And to me, that's like, it is what it is. But going into Ultimate Cup now, and I, like I've entered regionals, I'm interested to see if they'll suddenly throw a rule at regionals. I know they won't, let's be honest, because of the massive, massive uproar that's happened because of the uh, the solo color deck but it's like they i don't know what it is with bandai they just decide to change things so drastically so fast and so quick that it just feels like a completely different card game now i for one haven't been looking forward to bt12 as is but that's just me i just don't like i just don't like the save method that we're going into also quartzmon can go and go and not exist <laughs> uh, but this guy does have a point like on facebook the community is very very the community is together if you get what i mean it's like the community knows what they're talking about but for this one it's it's very very thought through because like he like he explains it's hit its two years cycle the game is kind of on its last legs thinking about it now that bandai have completely kneecapped it by putting solo colors into ultimate cup just making that not fun for players completely restricting some cards as well and just all of the erratas in general it's just not a fun card game anymore but We've got a new wave of battle spirits. So a Bandai just trying to shove Digimon to the side like they have with other card games in the past and just focus on battle spirits. You can also see this in the case that battle spirits has has its $250,000 total at the World and Grand Open. You can see that there's a lot more love put into the first thought of Battle Spirit compared to what we currently have with Digimon. Digimon with the prizing support is literally just, you get a you get a deck box, you get a paper deck box, which again, that's a massive thing in the community. People aren't happy with that. But are we looking at something, what could Bandai do to bring the card game back? to the sort of thing that people love. Better prizes in bigger tournaments, of course. Everybody loves prizes. Points mean prizes at this point. But I don't know what Bandai can do. They just need to focus on a card game. They need to not try and cycle things out. Battle Spirits release went very, very good for them. So all we've got to do now is hope that Bandai listen and understand from the community and what the community want, and we'll see where they go from there. This was a quick little update video. Oh, and an update. Just a quick little discussion. We'll get through. Speak to me in the comments. Let's see what goes on.